this part to phi r and uh, then I uh, just r will be replaced with this value 4 mm mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah then it will be 8 pi mm -hmm. and you, uh, the thing is that uh, we are now working on the exact answer if you see this is not the exact answer we are not using any approximate value here yes yeah pi is good so these are the exact things exact circumstances and yeah. then in the c part what you have to do you have to determine the area of circle the diameter is the okay so diameter is like now given is 10 meters so then how will you find that thing the the d pi d yeah, so it will not be just pi d i am saying area so area is this one or this one okay can use oh area. okay yeah so which one you will use? We will use pi. Yes. Yeah. One that has diameter. So then it will be pi will be empty. In place of d, it will be 10 meters. So it will be 10 is pi of 4. So basically it will be uh, 10. And this will be when you you also this thing. When you are squaring this thing, so it, the square term will go on for these all terms that it has inside of it. So it will okay. be the square uh, on the upper one on the numerator and the four will be as it is thing. So if you simplify this one, maybe it will end up with this one. So this will be the oh, okay. Okay. And okay. Uh, yeah, D part will be also, also simple, like you know, so very simple. Thing. So in D part what we have to do, um if you look right here. Yeah. In D part what is here? Uh, we have to you know, read here this thing. Okay. That is yeah. 0.85 Now, if we have to find the uh, oh, yeah, mm, okay, circumference is given actually, no, not radius. Circumference is given. Can you read this part again? A D part, okay, circumference equals to pi d, yeah, so, it is 2.85 pi cent, okay, 2.8. Uh, 2.8 something 5 centimeters oh. it is it is not 2.8 or 5 meters it's like x i think okay i just fly on it so this into r equals to 1.4 equals to 2.8 centimeters so yeah so r will be equals to 1.4 centimeters you can just compare on this side to by r you can compare with 2.8 Pi centimeter, so here centimeter will remain as it is. But this pi is getting cancelled, and this two you can cancel out to make one point four. So yeah, it's very easy things. Uh, we can move on the next. Thing. We're gonna start with exercise seven point three. Okay. So, yeah. So can you tell how you? Yeah. In the first one, you have to give the exact answers. Okay, for this uh, one a part, and then you have to find the C and the yeah, C. So what it will be? Circumference, no? Yeah. Circumference is uh we can do pi d for this one because yeah, so it will be just you can tell directly the answer, it will be nine pi centimeter. And for area we have d, sorry d. Hmm. What was the formula for area over this thing? It is for this one. Yes, pi d squared by 4. Yeah. So d squared will be 81. So <coughs> pi 81 pi by 4 centimeters. Uh, 81 pi over 4 <coughs> centimeters. Yeah, I guess okay. Uh, just tell me quickly how for b, b part. <coughs> You have to tell C and you have to tell A. So C will be equal to 2 pi R because we have R here. Yeah. So that will be 74 pi centimeter. Okay. Yeah. And A part. A. Area will be equal to. Um, you have to multiply it. Okay. And you can multiply it right now. So it will be I means the square of this quantity. Oh, so it will be pi r squared. Yeah, so it will be 37 square pi centimeter square like this. Okay, you can calculate this whatever the square will be there. Okay, 
So uh, okay. just go to C part. Okay. So these are the uh, these are very straightforward things. You have to just substitute. Okay. So just okay. type quickly for this one also. It will be C will be equal to. Um, I forgot it. Five five into D yes five D. Then. This is for piety, so it will be area will be equal to uh, uh this thing pi uh d pi pi uh pi d squared by four. four. Yeah, then it would be if you put it here, so it will look, it will look like this one. One twenty centimeter four square over four. So this will be then pi over 4 and if you make a square of this thing so it will be 1 4 4 0 0 this one okay okay yeah so you can uh, you can cut it down with the help of i guess it will cut it like this three and then it will be 4 yeah zero zero so it will be 3405 centimeter square Okay, for and I have a doubt. How did you cut it? Okay. okay. Oh, you used the four. Will, it will be six. It will be six. It will be six. Okay, it will be twenty-six. Okay. How I cut it? Uh, I had written same this thing. Over four, I am dividing. So four times the four and four times the twelve. So two will be remaining. So now I have to work on this twenty-four. So that will be six. And zero zero will be what is so thirty six like this. Okay. Can you do this for a D part? Uh, D part you had the same as mm, Okay. Yeah. Fourteen centimeters. Yeah, equal to pi r uh, two pi r. Uh, but uh, if it is if it is whole, then it is so fine. Oh, it's not whole. What is it then? Mm. It's just a half. So it will be like. So that formula again. Something something D, you know? Yeah, so what will happen? Let us. Uh, it will be half by two pi r. So it is uh, It is two pi r over half. Okay. So that will give the total length of this part. Did okay. You if you if you can see there is something more here. This side length is also there. Yes. Yeah. So 14 centimeters will be in addition with the 2 pi r over 2. Okay. Or what I can say? Pi d over 2. Can I say this one? Yes, pi d over 2. Yeah, so this will be what can you tell me what it will be? Whole thing. Three pi d over two. You can substitute the values and tell me. So pi is three point one four. I don't have to substitute that. D equals to fourteen. So fourteen pi plus one forty. Seventy meter by two. Uh, this two is in just this one, okay. This division, uh, this this division, uh, this divided by two is only on this term. It's not on the whole term. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, not sure. Okay. So what do you need to do? Actually? This length will be as it is. This length will be added as it is. You need not to work on this length. So this is just fourteen centimeter. So it is okay. here. Mm -hmm. And this part is this length. The half of this length is pi d over two. This part. Okay. So if you substitute d here, this will be d here. So d is what it is fourteen centimeter. Mm -hmm. so if you substitute here, and if you make half of that, so that will cut it to ten uh, centimeter. So the circumference will be 14 centimeters, 7 pi centimeters. 21 pi centimeters. Yeah. 
So if you make it more similar, or if you if you arrange that right, it will be seven pi plus fourteen whole factorial. Fourteen. Yes, seven pi. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Now we uh, now let us talk on this area of this one. Okay. Now this area is a very easy thing. Like you will need not to worry so much for this one. So if it is if it was a full one, then what was the area here? It will be. It will be pi d square root four. Yes, pi d square yeah. root four. Yeah. So let us calculate it first. Okay, so it will be pi or four, and if you make d square, so fourteen centimeter square. So that will be one ninety six pi. Yes. Into the square over four, so it will be equals to if you cut four four is sixteen. It will be nine, so you get it forty nine. Make it it will go by nine. It's thirty six centimeters. So it will be forty nine centimeters. Forty nine pi centimeters. Forty nine pi centimeters. But this is the area of the whole circle. We have to, we just want this. this one, okay. okay. So the area required area will be what? Required area. Required area. Will be half of this one. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. So this one will be the required area. You can choose the half of this one. Now you have to tell this e part. Okay. E and f part you have to tell. I will not. Ah, uh, I will help you out, but you have to tell this. One. What is c? It's twelve centimeters, but we can use two pi r. You try and uh, try to answer this. The complete answer, okay. The last one that will come. Okay, the 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 area will be. R six, no. So okay. two into pi is two pi. Two into R is twelve. So it will be twelve, twelve. By twelve, twelve pi plus we twelve pi plus twelve. R is six. Okay, R is six. It is okay. not R is six. Okay, R is six. So you can see this one. Okay, so the shape is like this. The shape is like this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. For circumference, this length will be anyway included. This has yes. to include anyway. So I can write uh, before and twelve centimeter will be there. This, this one. Then I have to take the length of this one. Okay. Okay. If it is a full circle, if it was a, let's say, if it was let's say full circle, then what will be the total length? It will be. Can I say it will be two pi six centimeter? Yes. Yes, two pi r and six. Two pi. We do half. We half it. Yeah. So if you want to make it half, you can take that two uh, out. Just take that two out. Then it will be half only. So it is six pi centimeter square. So you have to add six pi centimeter square. So circumference is six pi plus twelve. Six pi plus twelve. Oh. Yeah. How can you tell for area of this one? Area is very straightforward. Area equals to pi d squared by four, no? Yeah, you can use pi d squared by four, or yet you know r also. You know r, r is six. You can use it r part also. Area equals to two pi r. No, it is not equals to two pi. That is circumference which is equals to two pi. Area is this one, pi r square. Oh.
okay by r square so r squared is r equals to 6 6 6 is a 40 6 is a 36 36 yeah 6 7 is a 42 So it will be pi into r square, r square is 36, 36 pi yeah, so it will be centimeters. What that will be that area of whole circle? Okay. By yeah. half. Yeah. By two. Yeah. So answer will be this one. Five centimeters. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, yeah. Now can you quickly tell us for the F part? This is very similar. You are telling. 92 millimeters. 9.2 millimeters. ADF is 9.2 millimeters. Okay. Yeah. Now you can, can you quickly answer what is C and what is E? Yes. C is 2 pi R and A is pi R. Can I make like this? Yes. Yeah. So it will be just pi r and it will be this one. So it will be just 9.2 pi centimeter. Okay. And this will be pi over 2, 9.2 centimeter whole square. Okay. So this mm -hmm. is the answer. You can simplify it more. You can calculate the 9.2 square. Okay. So that you can do. So let us move to question number 2. Okay. Okay. So in question number two, again you have to do the same thing. So I hope I hope you can do this one. So let us do it quickly. Okay. So a part you have to find again the circumference, and this time they had given ten centimeters as their diameter. So circumference is basically this one pi d. So you can say that it is ten, so it will be ten point centimeters. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Now can you quickly say for this one b part what you need to find and how you will find. It? For B part? Yeah. Okay. Circle as a mm -hmm. radius of seven centimeters. Millimeters. What is its circumference? Circumference we can use the other equation, no? Two pi r. Yeah, we can use this. Two pi r so r equals to seven millimeters. Two into seven millimeters is uh fourteen millimeters. Yeah. So that will be fourteen and you mm -hmm. pi also. So fourteen pi millimeters. Okay. Yeah, so C part and B part. Uh, uh, C part. What is the area of a circle of a diameter 1.9 centimeters? Okay. Diameter is given to you, that is 1.9 centimeter. You have to find area. Okay. Area will be equal to uh, they give us that you can do. Yeah. So we can do pi pi d squared by four. Yeah. Or, no, yeah. or two pi. Oh, they give us that correct. That is the area, so it will be it will be this one. I just want to so it will be pi over the is four over the And in place of this one, you can do the same thing, 1.9 centimeter per square. Okay. Okay.
Yeah, so that will be 3.615 centimeter square or 4. And like this will be the answer. Okay. And you can divide it more further so it will be around something 0.95 centimeter square. Wow. Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now uh, can you solve this? Uh, so, before solving D part, let us list uh, you, you in your notebook. You can write this thing. This, uh, what? Mm -hmm. This thing, you can write like this circumference. This way. circumference. First thing, if radius is given, okay. Radius R is given, then you will say it is a pi R. If it is diameter is given, diameter D is given, mm -hmm. then you will say this one is equal to this quantity, and this is for this one circumference. And uh, when you do for the uh, circumference, and just make it make it in comma area also. So for area, you can say for the respective ones, you can say this for this part. You can use this way. And okay. this part we will use this thing, means this formula. So you can uh, you can note it at uh, uh, one place, okay, so that you can quickly apply these things. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to note it or? Yes, I'm that... noting it. I'm noting it. Yeah. My diameter now. Yeah, I can try it. Okay, done. Yeah, okay. So, if it is done, let us solve this in D part right now. So, in D part, what do you have to do? The radius of a semicircle is 3 cm. Okay. So, how yes. is it? Yeah. So, semicircle means again the same thing like this. This is the same, uh, this is the semicircle. Okay. okay. So, the radius of means, radius means this radius only. So, radius is given 3 cm. So you want to tell what is the area? Okay. Because you know radius, we will use the radius formula, which is uh the what's first one? This area, no? Yeah, you you will use this one. Area has to be pi r square. But it is half of the half of the circle, so it will be half of that. R is given, it will be pi r square by just remove the pi r square the two pi. Can you calculate it and answer to this part? Now? Yeah. Okay. So they have given us the radius. The radius is 3 centimeters. Radius is 3 centimeters. 
so the radius is three centimeters. Then mm, so three centimeters is the radius, and to find it, we need to do r squared by two. So what we do, we substitute r for three. Then two power and two can get cancelled and make it one and one. No, no, two power and two will not get cancelled actually. This oh, is okay. number and which is power, so it will not work. Cancel. Okay, then what can get cancelled? Uh, you need to cancel your solve this three centimeter for the square. So that will be transformed to nine centimeter. Yes. Yeah. And two will be as it is. Okay. Why will it become? It shouldn't it become six? No, it will not become six. Oh, you, squared. Okay. Yeah, when you say, when you say square, then you have to multiply it two times. Okay. So okay. It nine. It will be nine. Then centimeter and centimeter will be multiplied, and it will be centimeter squared. Okay. So uh, if you divide nine or two, if you divide nine or two, so that will be four point five five. Five will be as a decimal and centimeter square. So this will be the idea of D part. Okay. Yeah. Now let us move to question number three. Okay. Yeah. So the diagram looks like this. Something like this, and the side that the circle is drawn. Okay, this circle here. This is side that was left to draw a circle. Yeah, like this, it is drawn. Then we had a square touching on that face. Okay. So can you read the question and figure out okay. what, what do you have to what do you have to do in this? Uh, one second is glitching. Okay, I'll take the question. What is the length of each side of the square? What area of the length metal is? Left on one side of the circle. Okay. Okay, so let me print uh, answer as to the Left so one point. circle is been cut from it. Yeah. So okay, we just have to find the. First, we have to find the radius. Then all this will be done. Okay. And what is given? Circumference is given. So it is twelve by centimeter. Twelve by centimeter. So radius will be six by centimeters. Not pi radius would be just six centimeter. Oh. Yeah. So if this is six centimeter, then that this will also be six centimeter. And this will also be yes. yeah, and this will also be six centimeter. So can, what would be the length of this one? What would be the length of this one? It will be seen as twelve centimeter. And this will also be oh, yeah. okay. I was yeah. just thinking about that because I saw that it was not uh, leaving any gap in this thing. It was just fully filling it. Yeah, it is filling. It is touching from um, this. It is the square is touching this circle. So that's why you can you can easily see that the distance will be same. The lens will be same. Okay. Okay. So, so what will be the answer of a part? A part. What is the length of each side of the square? Twelve centimeters. Yeah, and for B part, what do you have to do? B part says what areas of metal are left once in this thing. So we just have to do twelve squared. Yeah. So first one, we, first one, we did, first you have to find the area of the square. So that will be twelve centimeter square. So that will be one four four centimeter square. Okay, it's done now. Now what you need to do then? The next step. Then you need to subtract from the uh, area of the circle. Okay, 
So radio circle, you have to figure out by not first two is how you define radio. So area is pi d squared by four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pi d squared by four or yeah. And it will be. It will be pi uh, 144 by 4. Yeah, so 144 centimeters per over 4. So that will be what if you cut it by 1 and it will go by 3. And so this is going with 36. So it is 36 pi centimeters per actually. So this okay. will be area of circle. Yeah. This is the area of circle and this is the area of the square this is the area of square so what we have to do actually we have to find out this uh, what you have to find out the metal which are left one okay okay area of left over metal okay area of area of left over metal so left over metal means uh, you first calculate uh, the area of the square the square metal then you take out the circle part from there. There, so it will be square one is the one four four centimeter square, and the circle one is uh, which one? Thirty six uh, five centimeter square. Thirty six. Thirty six pi. Okay. Yeah. So it will be one four four minus thirty six pi whole centimeter square. Okay. Is that, is that question is clear? This question I want to take. Or do you have any doubt in this? It is clear. Yeah, so if it is clear, then we can uh, let us solve this one question number four now. Okay. So, okay. in this question number four, what is the situation described here? And tell me what you can do. Uh, okay. Question number four is the diagram shows two concentric circles. In a circle has a circumference of 14 pi millimeters. Outer circus has a radius of 9 millimeters. Determine exact area of shaded portion. Okay. So we do ex uh, inner circle minus outer circle, no? Yeah, you will do inner circle. No, means outer circle. That's what you have to do. Actually, you have to find the exact area of this part. You have to find okay. the of white part that I'm sharing. For that, you what you need to do? First, you have to okay. calculate the smaller area of this one. Okay. And okay. You need to calculate the area of the hole. Area of hole is this green part of okay. this. Okay. So then you can uh, this area of white part. Area of white part will be first area of green. Okay. Minus area of this red part. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So how will you find out the area of this white uh, this green part first? Means the whole area totally. How will you find it? For okay. That, for that you have given two information. What is the information? The inner circle has a circumference fourteen by centimeters square. Ah. Uh, okay. Yes, and the outer circle has a radius of nine millimeters. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. Nine millimeters. Okay. So radius of this one is a nine millimeters. Okay, and if the circumference of the smaller one is fourteen pi centimeter, so what will be its radius of the small circle? It will be four point five. No, no, why it will be four point? It is not like just half. This that is not there. It has a circumference. The smaller circle has given a circumference. Okay, that's the. Then you give the. The the circumference for like the entire one? No, they had given the circumference for the inner one only. You can see the inner circle has a circumference of this thing. Oh. Okay. Means yeah, this is given. Means this length is given total length. So this length mm -hmm. is equal to two pi and the smaller radius. And the outer is equal to. 9 millimeters. Yeah, so, so the radius is 9 millimeters. Uh, we have to find the small radius first. Okay, but I have a doubt. Yeah. Like, 
do we see the outer do we calculate it from the inner circle the outer circle or just from like the edge of the outer circle from the inner circle only no yeah we will calculate from the inner circle so it will be uh how you this phi will pi will get cancelled and if you find r so it will be 14 mm over 2 so it will be just 7 centimeter it's not 7, 7 millimeter can you see this one? The smaller radius, eh? the smaller one is 7 mm. Okay, but why did the, you were doing 2 into pi into r? No, so how did it become uh, this thing r by 2? Yeah, uh, let me explain how. Okay, I should make it back. Yeah, so your question is why it is becoming like this. Okay, so can you see the, the first line I had written here? It is 2 pi r equals to 14 pi mm. Is this okay? Yes, okay. Yeah. Then can I cancel pi pi also if, if it is the same thing? Yes. Then you left with 2r equals to 14 mm. Okay. Mm. So if 2r equals to 14 mm, then r will be equals to 14 mm over 2. Is that okay? That's what okay. I need to do. Then it will be simple, it will be seven hundred. Okay. Okay. So now you have to find this uh this one. What is our meaning? The meaning is to find area of green one, then you have to find area of red one, then you have to take the difference, then you will get the area of white part. So okay. area, of, area mm -hmm. of green part will be y and the bigger radius is square. Okay. The area of the small part will be five and difference of smaller. And bigger. Uh, yeah. Because it, um, area you have calculated that for red part, then you have to take the small radius. And for the bigger, for the whole, you have to take the bigger radius. Okay. So it will be phi. Bigger radius okay. is 9 mm square. 9 mm whole is square. Final phi. It will be just 7 mm whole square. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what, what will be then this this quantity will be what? Can you tell me? Uh, uh which quantity? Pi times nine mm what is more? Pi times nine mm. It will be pi times eighty one mm. Yeah, so I can say it is eighty eighty one pi mm pi square mm -hmm. for this part. Yeah. Mm. For the other part minus the seven, the minus minus pi, seven millimeter part. Yeah. Okay, so that will be for forty nine millimeters. Yeah. So it will be 49 and pi is also there, so 49 pi millimeters square. So this is that of 49 pi millimeters square. Okay. Yeah, now this one is the area of green one, 81 pi millimeters square. And this is the area of red one, the smaller circle. Okay. And this one is bigger. Okay. So if you take, can you see in the diagram? Uh, let me show it here. So if you subtract uh, this one, this. Uh, can you see this hole is the green thing? Okay. Hole is okay. The green thing. And if you, if you subtract the red part, and this is the red part that I have subtracted here. Can okay. See, this is the red part you subtract, then you are getting, you will end up with white area like this. So that's why okay. we, are we are calculating this area separately and subtracting. So if you subtract okay. 81 pi, uh, 81 pi minus 49 pi. So that will be equals to 2, 32 pi. Okay. Okay. So the yes. area of the white region will be 32 pi millimeter square. Okay. So area of the shaded region, I can say. Area of the shaded region will be equals to 32 pi millimeter square. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, now we have to start with what is R and what is sectors. Okay. 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 So what is R? Is actually R is the section of uh, that. Uh, have have you studied these things uh, in the 
uh, last segment or something. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So, arc is what? Arc is actually, arc is a segment of, which is a section, section of a circumference. Okay. okay. Means if you take any section, any part of the circumference, that will be known as arc. That will be okay. the. Okay. And what is sector? Sector, it is an area. Okay. It is a segment or area, you can say. Okay. okay. So it is the. It is uh, it is a region. Okay. It is a region contained. It is a region contained. Uh, between two radius of a circle. Between two radii of a circle. Okay, can you see this one? Okay. Yes. Here, if I say here, uh, then this one is arc length. This is the arc length. Here. So this is the minor arc and this is the major arc. This small arc is a minor arc. Okay. Uh, it's a major arc. The whole major arc. And the same with this area. The area which this is, is a minor arc. Uh, which is, uh, the area which is concerned contained between these two area okay, okay. Area, con area contained by this minor arc is a minor sector area contained by this minor arc and two of the area okay okay and area contained by this major major arc and two of the area is major sector okay, okay. yeah and the formula how we calculate the sector area is this one Okay, sector area. Now you have so formula to calculate this one. The sector area. Mm, the sector area. Okay. Area is theta over three sixty. And can you see that pi n square is there? So what is the okay? Value? But what is that O thing? Like the zero thing? The zero thing is uh, written like this. Can you see this? How I'm writing? Yes. Yeah, it is written like it goes like this, and it is written like this, and this quantity we call as a theta. Theta. Yeah. This okay. Theta is basically angle. That uh, these two radii can you see if I rub all. Yes. This, it is mm -hmm. theta here. If I rub all this, then you can see here. So theta is basically angle. This okay. Theta. So theta can be what? What the values can theta can have? Can angle. To oh. 0 degree to 180, plus 60 degree at any angle you can. It can okay. be more than that. Okay. Yeah, so theta is basically, it is an angle. Okay. okay. So uh, yeah, I am explaining two formulas. Okay. What are the two formulas actually? Sector area. Now this one. First one is sector area. Sector area is, is theta. Over mm -hmm. 360 degree. I should write it here theta so that you should know what know what I am saying. Okay. So theta over 360 into pi r square. Okay. And second okay. is arc length. Length of arc basically that is arc length. So it is again the same thing theta. Theta. Okay. 360. But this time. Now, can you see that area is there? So, we are working okay. on a full circle. We are taking full circle area. Now, it is length, so we are taking full length of the full circle of length of the circle, 2 pi r. So, for, okay. length, for length, it is, you can remember here it is 2 pi r, and for area, you can remember that there will be pi r square. So, in this form, so can I say this is also a sector only, a complete sector? Okay. So, but here, yeah, if you see in this sector of okay. you see in this sector, the whole sector, then the, if you maybe start measuring theta, if you start measuring theta, then the theta will be 360 degree. Means it is it has covered all the things. So theta will be 360 degree. If you start from any point you choose and make a circle, then theta will be 360 degree. Okay. So okay. then and we know that the area of this thing is pi r square. So let us see, is that the same thing is coming from the formula also? So what is the formula? It is theta over 360 degree into pi r square. Okay. So if you put in place of theta this 360 degree, this will be 360 mm -hmm. over 360 
into pi r square. So you can see, yeah, it is getting cancelled to one, and only pi r square is coming like this. Okay. Okay. If I say what I know, the total area of this circle is pi r square. Okay. But if hmm. we make it half, if we make it half, if I make it half, okay. So okay. Should be what? Should be Read by pi, pi r square by two. Yeah, it will be like this. So if, if I'm using that formula, that from that formula also it should, it should come like this. So what you can observe? If you consider two radii, so where are the two radii? Are they? One radii is there. Second radii is there. If you see this one. Okay. And what is the angle between them? If you see. Uh, zero degree. No, no zero degree. It is one eighty. They are on opposite oh. facing opposite side here and there. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it is 180 degree angle here. Yeah, correct. what I said, sector area is what I told you, like here. Sector area I told you, like uh, theta over 360. 360 into pi r square. Into pi r square. So, now, in this case, instead of theta, we theta we put 180. Yeah, we will put 180. Okay, so and the r, what about r? It is, uh, let it be same. It's oh, okay. anyway, but now it is. So, can you see this 180? If you cut it, those two things, okay. So, mm -hmm. 180 is just a half of 180. Over. Yeah, 18 to 36. Yeah, so this is 1 over 2 actually. So, that's why this can you see the area is also coming by R is by OT. Oh, okay. Like this, okay. I got so, it. So, now you uh, understand the validation of this formula. Like this formula is valid. How it is valid, you can understand. Now, now we did the same. Now we can do the similar thing with the circumference also. Okay. Now we can do with the circumference. Okay. Circumference means it is actually arc length. We say the formula we call as uh, arc length, which is again the theta or three sixty. But in place of area, we now okay. put it circumference here. Circumference of circle we put it here. Okay. So. Okay. So let us. So what is the circumference of this whole thing with the radius is r okay circumference is 2 pi r okay and what will be theta theta will be 360 degree okay. yes yeah and if i draw one more diagram like this one like this half of this one okay the dot parts are not there only half of half of the sorry so for this the circumference will be just pi r okay yes and theta will be what 180 degree Means you can see this one if I join R and two radii, so here it's just 180. Okay, okay, so it, then the same thing has to come from this one also mm -hmm. from the R class formula. Also, okay, so what, is, uh, what is that R class formula? Is why see what is that R class formula? R class formula is theta 360 or 2 pi r. So in this case, oh. 360 over 360. Mm -hmm. to 2 pi r so can you see this is coming getting there and 1 and 1 so only oh, yes. 2 pi r so two this pi r. Okay. okay and in this case which is 180 180 or 360 mm -hmm. 2, two, two pi, pi r into 2 pi r okay into 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 into 2 pi r uh -huh. so basically it is equal to pi r only so can you see this and this thing are coming so these okay. two are valid things, okay, means valid uh, formula, you can easily validate those things with the help of these examples. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. So what is the point of introducing this one? So with the help of this, now what you can do, you can actually, if you had, a, if you know this, if you just know this, uh, let's say this is a Okay. okay. You, you have drawn something like, you know that the radius is 5 Let's say the radius is 10 centimeters, you know this. Okay. It will also be 10 centimeters. Then you can easily find out if this angle is mm -hmm. let's say 30, 30, 30, you know this one. Then you yeah. can easily find out this arc length. Okay. Okay, arc length. Yeah. You can easily find out this, this sector area. This much area you can know, but the area it will be you can find out. So this is the application of this two point glass. So <laughs> like, this two point glass you can Easily figure out the area and the arc length. Okay. Okay. Any angle it can be. Theta can be anything. Theta can be anything. Anything. 
Pirutu three sixty. Yes. Yes, sixteen is again eight fifty three. Eight fifty three is a complete step from this. Okay. So okay. Theta will vary from theta will vary from zero to three sixty degree. And mm -hmm. and this what I'm saying, you can you can also find out such a rock kind of thing like uh, Mm, let's say this is circle of it. And you can okay. find like if this angle is let's say 1 1 10 degree and the radius are again 10 centimeters and 10 centimeters. Then you okay. can find what the arc length it will be from this to this one. Accurately find and you can also find the area. Okay. That's what this topic is suggesting for us to us. Okay. So let us uh, solve some questions on this. So if we solve some questions on this, so where it is actually so yeah so the first question is this one out out example uh five about example five okay so what you can see can you see in a part it is drawn like this yeah it is this five meter Five meter and this one is thirty. So at actually it is a complete circle. From there we have taken a part. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what you have to find actually you have to find area and perimeter. Okay. On this shape. Okay. You have to find what you have to find first. We can find a perimeter. Okay. It's kind of like a triangle. Yeah, it, it is kind of like a triangle, but you can exactly find the this perimeter of this. One. So for perimeter, if it is if it is like a triangle, then what you you do you just to add all the side five meter five five meter plus this arc length will be there. Can okay. Five meter yes. plus five meter plus this arc length, and then ten meter plus this arc length will be that way. Like this one, thirty over three sixty into two five r. So r is again five meter. Okay. Yeah. So it is basically 10 meter plus you make it cut. 3 0 0 you can cut and 3 plus the 1 and 3 12 cut. It will be 1 12 of this uh, 10 pi. Okay. So this will be 10 pi meter only. So it is 1 10 of 10 pi meter. So it will be 10 meter plus you can make it to 10 or 12 pi meter. And, okay. answer, and the answer you can calculate with the whole value. With, by choosing the appropriate value of pi. Yes. Value of choosing appropriate value of pi means you can choose pi as equals to uh, 3.14. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, then you can, so if you choose 3.14, then you can convert then this, you will get around 12.617 meter. I see. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's almost time also. Yeah, it's almost time also. So actually, if you can continue, we can just let me check with the other one. Like he had asked me from 1.30 for my time to for two hours. But uh, it's not uh, actually, it's not to see. Yes, I can't see him online right now. So there might be, but yes, I can get to one hour. Yes, right now after this one also, I will update you if I even get that. Okay, okay. I'll be online only. Yeah, you, you can be online also. 